Special episode of the Sports Minute. We got new Bellator signee, Jarrell Hodge, joining the show today. And he's looking to make a statement in Bellator. We're going to talk about his dream fight, his journey, and with some of the things he's learned on his way to making it where he is. So stay tuned. It's a solid episode. First and foremost, congratulations on signing the Bellator. I know that's that's big. That's like the second biggest MMA promotion next to UFC. And definitely dope, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Long time. You know, I've been doing this for a long time. So it's about time it started to pay off. Exactly. So uh, my first question is, what's your ultimate goal? Are you trying to get to the UFC? Um, what, what, what's your ultimate goal? I mean, my ultimate goal is just, you know, show the world how good I am on a bigger platform and just keep beating ass, you know. Just show how good I am. <laughs> I'm a competitive guy, so I, I, like to, I, I like to show off my skills. I like to compete. So, yeah, just, just, I love that. It's okay. It's all good. All right. So my next question is, uh, for the people that don't know, can you tell them a little bit about yourself and your MMA journey so far? Okay, for the people that don't know, let me put the phone down. Um, my name is Jarrell Hodge, um, 33 years old, graduated from Bedford in 2009. Um, been doing MMA since 2010, right after graduation. You know, I started off wrestling at first. You know, I did high school, middle school wrestling. And um, I didn't want to go to college to re- I didn't want to go to college to wrestle, but like as I was going to like all my interviews, meeting with schools and everything, I was like, ah, I don't know, man. College wrestling is cool. Wrestling is a real competitive sport. It, it definitely builds character, but like, where the money at wrestling? You know? <laughs> right. You make money to go to the Olympics and stuff. So I'm like, that's a lot of wear and tear on your body. And then they wanted me to go down to 125s, and I never did 25 day in my life. So I was looking like, um, no, I think I'm going to just hang up my, my shoes and, you know, find something else that I, I might like to do. You know, I always heard about MMA, but, like, never knew in Ohio. You never know, like, where to look at, you know, probably, like, down south or in California. You know, you go right next door, you got a gym right here that's saying, hey, mixed martial arts training or, you know. But, like, up here in Ohio, you don't, you don't have too much of that. So, like, I found a gym that teach boxing, well, more like, yeah, kickboxing type of thing. So, it was like a cardio kickboxing class. But the guy that was running it, the guy that owned it was like an actual uh, a fighter. He did uh, the human weapon, Bill Duff. I ain't know nothing about it. So I, as, as I got to meet him, you know, I started Googling human weapon. And uh, he was, you know, part of the TV show. He was really doing his thing out there. So, you know, a couple couple uh, months of training there. And that was probably like in 2010, 2011, a couple months training there. He was like, hey, man, some promoter just hit me up. Asked if we got any fighters, you want to fight? No, beat, beat the dude. The dude was a Marine Corps or was Marine or something. I was like still 19, 20. So from there, it was just like, all right, I love this. I'm going to keep doing this and see how far it gets me. And I'm here today. Okay. Yeah, man, I've seen your journey from a long time. I know you was training up at King's Gym. Well, I've seen you sparring up at King's Gym. and. uh yeah, you know, the boxing, the fight community in Cleveland is, is, is well connected. People don't know that. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, like everybody knows everybody. So I've seen you got a couple of boxing matches under your belt as well. So let me just ask you, do you prefer MMA or do you prefer boxing and why? You know what? I prefer MMA because I, I, I dedicate too much time already, you know, to 2010. I dedicate from 2010 to now, mostly to MMA. You know, um, boxing always been a part of the sport, so I never really just focused on boxing until, like, the last couple of years. But I definitely love boxing. Like, if I would have started boxing back then, I probably would have picked boxing over MMA. Right. Because, you know, um, nothing against MMA at all. I love MMA. But, like, it's just, um, I love the sweet. I mean, just just seeing I, when I watch two boxers actually box and just watching them flow and move, man, that's just sweet. Man. Oh man! I mean, it's, it's like it's like a uh, orchestra, piano playing. It's like a whole music music song being played, being made right there in front of your face. 
and it's just so smooth, man. So like actually seeing two boxers do it, like you don't see that too much of that in MMA because uh, I, you know, I don't know, it's just not the same as boxing. Right. But, uh, yeah, most definitely MMA because I had so much time dedicated to MMA already, you know. But if, if I would started boxing a couple years after I started MMA, I probably would switch over to boxing. Dope, man, dope. So now that we know that you're signed to Bellator now, um, you're going to come in there. I know you're going to look to dominate because you, you like to whoop ass and everything. So what do you think is going to separate you from every fighter in your division in Bellator? Um, I just, my confidence, you know, I'm just, I'm always going to have confidence no matter where I'm at. If I feel like I'm in a bad position, you know, you cut me or you hurt me, I'm always going to feel like, at the end of the day, I'm always going to have my confidence going to be higher than yours. <clears throat> and that's, that's how, I, you know, I've been looking at life since my uh, last couple of fights, you know, ever since, you know, uh, I've been 5-0 for the last, I, I, I went 5-0 in MMA in the last three years or four years, you know, I have a like, I can give you the last time I lost, but it's been a while, though, so, like, ever since, like, you know, figuring out what was wrong with me, why, why I lost those two, and I just, my biggest thing was my confidence, you know, I got all the skills, but my confidence was gone, so, and, uh, and I think, yeah, most definitely just the confidence, you know, my confidence level will be a lot higher than you guys, they might want it, they might feel like they want it more, I'm going to be wanting a little bit more than them. And if they keep moving up, I'm just going to keep moving up too. Because I believe in myself that much. That's what it is, man. And the last question before you leave, man. If you could have one dream fight, one dream opponent, who would it be? Yeah, can I, can I get you two? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. You give me two. Can I get you? All right. So I'm going to give you one in MMA. So if I could fight one person in MMA, it would be Demetrius Mighty Mouse. Most Ooh. definitely. You know? Okay. Bad man, you know, you know, it, it, it could be off as a start off as a friendly little, uh, a friendly little, little sparring session at the gym if you want. But like one dude, I love just just to fill the ring with him and see how he flow. You know, feel all, you know, like I said, like I like how people flow in boxing. I, I like the way Demetrius Johnson flow. Period. Like yeah. his fights and everything. I just want to see what he about. You know, fill him out a little bit, man. So that'll be my dream fight today. Boxing. Yeah, it had to be Lomo. Vasil Lomachenko. Mm, like Lomachenko. Oh, too. Just like the way he moves around there and dance. Like, that'd, be, that'd be two of my favorite guys, you know, mix it up with in both sports. All right. Well, you heard it here first, man. Jarrell Hodge, new signee to Bellator. Uh, man, congratulations once again. I appreciate you taking the time with me. I'm Rico right. McGee. This has been the Sports Minute. And as always, we'll see you in a minute. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, Rico. Hey, man.